Hello and welcome to today's collective message. I wanted to read to you in my little journal notebook and then we'll get into the cards. These are the cards that we're using. Um, it's the White Newman Sacred Animal Tarot deck, if anyone cares. So what I wrote, we're gonna do today. I wrote a poem and then I wrote kind of like a guide. Wait, you mean right now the chance I need to take to make my dreams real? All I need to do is to act now. Oh, act in the present with focus on the now matter. But I thought I was focusing correctly. How intriguing. My focus was on past matter motivating me to act in a similar way in the now. I see. Now that I see a bit more broader, how do I release my focus of the past? To release one's focus of the past. In present moment, tune into the physical breath moving up and down your body, through your nose, all the way down to your stomach, churning and then moving right back up as you exhale. Give self your permission to let focus leave your current thoughts. Notice when your mind goes to your thoughts. Give self permission to now focus on your breath moving throughout your body, releasing thoughts, renewing with breath. Practice this exchange of matter till it feels natural, as if you're riding a bike, as if you're swimming across the pool, as if you're walking to your house. If it feels forced or if you feel as though you're pressuring yourself, release the practice, release the focus, release the intent. Dedicate one attempt of practice once a day, the time is up to you to decide when it feels like it's the right time. The benefits of releasing the focus on past ties. Your focus is easier to change. Your ability to appreciate what you currently have is easier to control and to move on our, and maneuver. maneuver. <laughs> um, you can become aware of your authentic self as well. You can become more aware also of your present self and what you are capable of in the present self. <laughs> Make action that's aligned to what you can change. The more that you are present, the more that you are aware of what you can change and what is out of your domain of change. You are prepared for more realistic, impossible matter currently. You are prepared to welcome in whatever it is without putting conditions on or judgments anything that of the pa the past pattern, if it would be, you're prepared to deal with that. But also you're prepared to deal with things that are not of the past matter, but are of new. Okay. What you need and what you want to have happen has room to come in now. So like if you're waiting and waiting for 
a new job, a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend, a new partner, new friends, what you need to do is you need to align with that self that has it with you now. And to do that, you have to release the self that didn't have it from you now and renew with the self that does have it. So that in time, with time, you can like align. Because really with time and aligning, you are collaborating with another, like this dream, right? And in the future, you already have this dream accomplished. But to do that, you had to mature, you had to wise up, you had to learn what exactly that reality is with you having that dream. And we begin with our journey towards accomplishing dreams and making our lives better with what we know at the beginning and we learn more and more along the way. And when you improve is when you use that knowledge of what you learned and use it for you, within you. So once you're able to allow yourself to be natural with this knowledge, that exchange, and you're making it more habitual, the more that you attempt to do it on the daily is the more that you become the master of this practice of releasing the old. Because releasing the old allows you to have space for the new, for the improved, the better, the dreams to happen. Ooh, yes, baby. Okay, so this is gonna be short with the cards. Gonna be about like 10 minutes to 15. Um, we're starting with the Ace of Cups. Okay. Mm, I'm also seeing someone. Ooh, actually. Oh, I think it's a family. That's sweet. Looks like a young family moving into an apartment or bringing in objects and it looks like the objects are more children's objects this is giving me as if you are oh my gosh okay you are about to step into your childhood dreams come true <laughs> the you now is uh you're moving into that direction if not have like found the you that like fits comfortably with the child you's dreams there's something about how you with releasing the past how you ooh you needed to release the ten of swords you needed to release this idea all all these different like thoughts that have left you feeling burnt out, left you feeling as if you don't have enough energy to even get up, like you are just done. You are KO'd, my friend, but not really, because it was more so in the thoughts. Um, what is going through my mind right now is just like trains rushing through the station, like nonstop. I'm getting also like a train just going, going, going until there's no more coal. Like that is what is happening with you where you were previously in the Ten of Swords, where you were previously going, going, going. But that's what you've released. You are practicing that more. I won't say you've released it all because I think this is just something that you're like, to prevent me from getting into the Ten of Swords, into this feeling as though I can't go on any further because my thoughts are just sucking the life out of me, you have realized and 
you are practicing and dedicating towards releasing the thoughts, releasing what you can, you have the ability to release in the now. Because once you release in the now, once you give yourself permission in the now to release, you have released, you have done it. There is nothing more that you need to do. The rest is up to your spirit team, to your ancestors, to those in beyond the 3D realm to help and support you out. They know more about the situation than you realize. And this releasing is also helping you release what you thought you can control uh, before now you realize you can't control so it gives you this releasing of responsibility that isn't for you my gosh the hierophant like you are absolutely stepping into knowing boundaries when it comes to i'm hearing the spiritual side of you um i'm hearing that it's something like you don't even know you have it, but, or like you might know you're like, I, I hope you can hear me <laughs> with the fan. Um, it's something about how you haven't really truly understood how you're like, you help in the spiritual sense more than you realize that you do. Like this is what, in the spiritual sense, the energy you give to others around you. And I see that something about how in your spirit you wanna help, like it's so natural for you to want to even give like the shirt off your back, the shoes off your feet to those who you know are going through it. But there's something about how now you're more so realizing you have to take care of yourself fully before you can support and take care of anyone else outside of you <laughs> the king of cups it's like something to do also with emotions too something of like when you see another struggling in the sense that you struggled before, you really want to help. You really want to go out of your way and help. But you're realizing that you can do it without going out of your way. You can just send some kind of like message to them. Like I'm like I'm getting like a letter in the mail and you're just like writing this letter with the intention of compassion and gratitude and appreciation for seeing that they are struggling and giving them strength for some reason i'm getting like when it comes to helping others in the spiritual sense this is a way where you can balance out without physically getting attached yeah okay i'm gonna end it in the next like couple of minutes because i gotta go to <laughs> Um, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Something about where you are maturing in the sense of emotions and understanding what emotions give you the Five of Pentacles sense where you're like, you are physically tired <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like all your energy is drained out to a point where you physically are kind of burnt out and you need to rest like this is to the point where you're past needing to rest where it's like you're in the hospital and you're getting an IV in your arm and you're getting that hydration in because you are dehydrated <laughs> so it's you are maturing in the aspects of not feeling so dehydrated emotionally if you will which is amazing and I'm seeing that this is like the kind of faucet that has that emotion running and not is that spiritual maturity of sending that like through the mail instead of physically going and doing things.
that's what I got. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. See you in another video.